Yeah, hey, uh, <clears throat> welcome to Waste of Popcorn. This is uh, another fat couch potato bastard who sits and watches movies and talks shit about them. So, and I'm doing old films as well as new films, and I'm just going to put everything in perspective. What I'm watching right now, I just fin finished watching Insidious. And uh, my friend at the library to uh, uh, suggested a whole bunch of other movies, Insidious 2 and 3, Con The Conjuring. I'm like, the thing is, I had to cut the bottom down. The thing is, I'm 48, so I grew up in the slasher movie era. The first movie I saw as a boy was Halloween, the original, and we snuck in. Me and my friend snuck in when we were supposed to go see some cartoony movie. I don't know what it was, uh, but we snuck in when my dad was watching Cry Uncle. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, that movie sucked. Anyway, we suck, We snuck in Halloween and scared the shit out of him. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you why. Because in the neighborhood where we was growing up, there was a serial killer who killed prostitutes. He would dismember them, and then he would throw the corpses over the fence in the woods behind our elementary school. So these two things, you got this killer on the screen <coughs> with that music, and then you had a real killer in real life. It scared the shit out of me. Two years later, the Friday the 13th movies came out. And um, we stay two blocks away from the woods. And uh, there's an abandoned school. There's an abandoned church in the woods, and the reason for that is there was a 1960s uh, killer that killed a bunch of people in the church, and he was caught by the police inside this abandoned school. This school had shut down in the 1950s because there was no uh, there was no families left to, you know, to go to the school. So in this whole setting of slasher films from the time I was eight years old in 1978 to 10 years old with Friday the 13th and Freddy Krueger in 84 and I was 13, I, I, I grew up with all these movies. Even Chucky scared the shit out of me. A Child's Play 1 in 87, it scared the shit out of me. Well, by the time I got in my 20s, we were on Chucky 3, and, you know, it started to get stupid and ridiculous, and the Scream films. How in the hell can you be scared when the top-notch top actresses are victims in the movie, and they come on TV and Party of Five and other, other TV shows during the week? It is, it's ridiculous, man. That's what happened to horror. So when I'm looking at this, all I'm looking at is, when I'm looking at Insidious, I see Amityville Horror and Poltergeist mixed together. And the, I'm looking at these two young directors sit down and talk about, oh, we the lighting and added this to the cinema. Yeah, man, shut the fuck up. Fuck out of here, y'all! Y'all! Y'all grew up with goosebumps, and it's, you know, to us, fucking goosebumps. <laughs> you know, it's amazing that these murderers and killers and these haunted films ooh, only go go to middle class, <laughs> middle class and upper class people. You know, it ne it never gets to the poor. You know, because the poor have we have real killers. We have real serial killers. We have politicians cutting off our, our 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 Medicaid and food stamps. So, you know, those are the real villains. You know, we have uh, uh, malpractice uh, doctors. Uh, you know, we get cheap 
paralegal lawyers. <laughs> Those are our murderers and killers. I mean, even this child molester that used to come up to the playground when I was a kid, you know, he's still there. He still lives here. I've been away from home for 20 years and I come back and this child molester who ha has probably a Texas Chainsaw Massacre brain, a probably nine, 10 year old way of thinking, still lives in the neighborhood. Th that's real horror. These movies suck. These movies suck because they, they, they're a target audience. A real horror.